most companies right now, people analytics maturity is still in the early stages of development, especially in the ways organizations leverage insights to craft their business strategies. Many companies still focus on basic reporting, getting the data right and consolidated. And oftentimes they rely on leaders' gut feeling to make key business decisions. Some companies still do manual data collection and use spreadsheets. And this typically results in inconsistent and pragmatic data sets. Others have progressed a bit and a select few have even mastered the art of predictive analytics and AI to navigate the future of the organization. So the landscape is pretty rich in terms of maturity levels. We asked business and HR leaders about where they stand on about 62 unique practices across our systemic business analytics framework. And we found that most organizations currently operate with a people analytics approach that is HR focused rather than business oriented. We typically compose a maturity model to describe the market, which has four levels. Level one is the least mature and level four has the highest maturity levels. In our systemic business analytics study, we found that level one is, we call it sporadic HR reporting. Companies perform poorly here in terms of people analytics, and they typically have little to no expertise in the field. They prioritize reporting instead. They don't have a dedicated team. Interestingly enough, though, this is 40% of respondents. So a pretty high representation of the market right now lies at level one. Level two we call that integrated HR analytics. And at this level, companies do some work in terms of analytics, but the focus is operational. It revolves around measuring and understanding HR, and it occupies another 35%. So levels one and two together take up 75% of the cases right now. Level three, systemic people analytics, is where organizations become more strategic. They leverage analytics to solve people problems, and they see some excellent outcomes that impact people experience and productivity. This corresponds to 15% of respondents. And level four, the highest maturity level, what we call the systemic business analytics level, is where companies outperform all others in terms of business and innovation outcomes because they focus beyond HR. They use analytics to solve critical business challenges and to drive business transformation. And when companies adopt that mindset, that level four maturity level, all business outcomes, people outcomes, productivity outcomes improve, but innovation in particular is increased by 41%, which is pretty high. However, only 10% of the respondents find themselves at this level. If we were to summarize the key findings of our study, it would come down to this. People analytics has a significant impact on financial performance and innovation, but only 10% of companies can tie the data that they're collecting to solving key business challenges. High-performing organizations, those who get it, who do this amazingly well, are able to integrate seamlessly people, organizational work, and sales data to get richer insights out of the data they're collecting. And solving business problems goes beyond analyzing data. It's not about having interesting analysis that we can discuss about. It's about driving actionable outcomes. What are we going to do about the insights and the data that we collected? And the data and the insights are not so useful unless they come to the right hands at the right time. And the right hands is everyone across the organizations, but especially managers. Access to timely data is key for better business decisions in the flow of work every day. Reaching the level for maturity and talking about systemic business analytics actually comes along with some capabilities that need to be developed. Capabilities to understand data, to analyze data, to tell meaningful stories about data, and these capabilities need to be developed for everyone across the organization. 
HR managers, the people analytics team to make sure that everyone's on the same page. Lastly, we cannot expect to do this without the use of technology and specifically the use of AI that helps scale and accelerate the impact of analytics across the organization. 